What's the fastest bomber ever built? No, not some sci-fi spaceship. It's the XB-70 Valkyrie, a beast of engineering that could outrun almost anything in the sky. It redefined speed. Curious about how it all worked? Stick around, this story will blow your mind. How it was started. To understand the origins of the North American aviation XB-70 Valkyrie, we need to travel back to the late 1950s. This was an era when Cold War tensions were at their peak, and both superpowers were racing to outmaneuver each other in every possible way. For the United States, maintaining strategic dominance meant pushing the boundaries of what seemed possible. That's how we enter the XB-70 Valkyrie, a bomber, unlike anything the world had ever seen. The vision behind the Valkyrie was extraordinary. It wasn't just another aircraft. It was designed to be a symbol of power and technological supremacy. This flying fortress was intended to replace the aging B-52 Stratofortress and the sleek but limited B-58 Hustler. What made the Valkyrie stand out was its promise to cruise at a blistering Mach 3, three times the speed of sound, at an altitude of 70,000 feet. At that speed and height, it could outpace almost any interceptor and avoid most anti-aircraft artillery. The strategy was bold yet straightforward. Strike fast, deliver its payload, and escape before enemy defenses could respond. However, the journey from concept to reality was far from smooth. Designing an aircraft capable of such feats wasn't just ambitious, it was a monumental challenge. Engineers faced numerous technical hurdles, from building materials that could withstand extreme heat to crafting aerodynamics that ensured stability at supersonic speeds. But the world of aviation isn't that simple. And the XB-70's journey from blueprint to reality was riddled with challenges. The science behind speed. Achieving the incredible speeds the XB-70 Valkyrie promised required technology that was ahead of its time. At its core were six powerful engines within its distinctive delta wing design. These weren't just engines, they were beasts, optimized to roar through the skies at supersonic speeds. But with great power came a great thirst. These engines guzzled fuel at an alarming rate, forcing engineers to find creative solutions to keep the plane efficient and functional. One of the Valkyrie's most fascinating features was its use of compression lift. This aerodynamic breakthrough was pure genius. When the plane reached Mach 3, the shockwave generated by its nose essentially worked in harmony with the wings, producing extra lift and reducing drag. It was like using the sky itself to help the aircraft stay stable and efficient. This wasn't just an airplane, it was a statement of how far science could go when pushed to the limit. Speed, however, introduced another major challenge, heat. Traveling at three times the speed of sound caused the skin of the aircraft to endure searing temperatures due to friction with the air. Traditional materials simply wouldn't cut it at these extremes. So, the Valkyrie was built with a mix of stainless steel and titanium. These materials were chosen not only for their heat resistance, but also for their strength, ensuring the plane could handle its blistering speeds without compromising safety or performance. The XB-70 was a bold leap into the future, solving problems that had never been encountered before. The enemy evolves, the rise of missiles. While the XB-70 Valkyrie stood as a masterpiece of bomber design, its downfall wasn't due to its speed or engineering marvels. It was the evolution of warfare itself. The Valkyrie was crafted for an era when bombers faced threats primarily from fighter jets and anti-aircraft guns flying at 70,000 feet and reaching speeds of Mach 3. It could easily evade these dangers. However, by the late 1950s, the game had changed. The Soviet Union developed surface-to-air missiles known as SAMs, a groundbreaking technology that altered the balance of power, unlike fighter jets or artillery. These missiles didn't need to chase the bomber. They could be launched from the ground and target aircraft flying at extreme speeds and altitudes. This innovation made the Valkyrie's greatest strengths, its altitude and speed, less effective. To counter this, the U.S. Air Force revised its strategy, focusing on low-altitude bombing by flying closer to the ground. 
bombers could use terrain to disrupt enemy radar detection. But this new tactic was a poor match for the XB-70's design. The Valkyrie was optimized for high altitude, high speed operations, not for hugging the terrain at lower speeds. Its cutting edge features, which had once promised dominance, became limitations in the shifting landscape of warfare. The Valkyrie story is a reminder of how innovation can be overtaken by new realities. A marvel of engineering, it couldn't adapt to a rapidly changing world. Leaving its legacy as a symbol of both human ingenuity and the relentless pace of technological progress. A shift in military priorities. The Valkyrie's journey took a turn as advancements in intercontinental ballistic missiles, also known as ICBMs, reshaped military strategies. These long-range, unmanned missiles could carry nuclear warheads across continents, eliminating the need for a pilot or bomber. This breakthrough posed a significant challenge to the relevance of expensive. Crewed aircraft like the XB-70 Valkyrie, which was originally designed to outpace threats and deliver nuclear payloads. By 1961, the U.S. government faced a tough decision about the Valkyrie program. With over 800 million U.S. dollars already invested, an amount that would translate to billions today, the stakes were incredibly high. Scrapping the project wasn't a choice made lightly, as it symbolized years of groundbreaking engineering and immense financial commitment. However, the rapid evolution of military needs and missile technology forced a re-evaluation. The role of a high-speed nuclear bomber was becoming less practical in an era where missiles could achieve the same objective more efficiently. While the Valkyrie's innovative design and capabilities were unmatched, the harsh reality was that its intended purpose was no longer necessary. The cancellation marked a pivotal shift in military priorities moving away from traditional bombers toward a missile-driven strategy. This decision underscored how quickly technological advances can render even the most ambitious projects obsolete. Yet, the XB-70 remained a testament to human ingenuity and ambition, leaving a legacy that influenced aircraft design for years to come. From Warbird to Research Marvel, Although the XB-70 program was no longer a priority as a combat aircraft, its legacy lived on through two prototype aircraft known as the XB-70A. These prototypes were built with a focus on research rather than military applications. From 1964 to 1969, they embarked on a series of supersonic test flights, pushing the limits of aviation technology. During these tests, Engineers gained invaluable insights into how airframes and materials behaved under the extreme conditions of sustained high-speed flight. The research conducted with the XB-70A didn't just impact the aircraft itself, but also played a key role in shaping the future of aviation. The data collected helped engineers understand the challenges of flying at supersonic speeds, offering valuable lessons for developing aircraft that could safely handle those speeds. One of the most notable outcomes of these tests was their contribution to the development of commercial supersonic travel, specifically influencing iconic projects like the Concorde. The advancements made during the XB-70 program paved the way for a new era in aviation. While the Valkyrie might not have been a successful military aircraft, its role in refining aerospace technology cannot be overstated. Today, the lessons learned from those test flights still resonate, shaping the designs of future aircraft, both military and commercial, that continue to break barriers in speed and performance. A tragic collision. The XB-70 program was not without its share of heartbreak. In 1966, tragedy struck during a routine publicity flight when one of the XB-70 prototypes collided with an F-104 Starfighter. The collision destroyed the Valkyrie prototype, and tragically, it took the lives of two crew members. This devastating accident marked a turning point in the project, signaling the beginning of the end for the XB-70's active research phase. The loss was a heavy blow, not only for the families of those involved, but also for the engineers and visionaries behind the ambitious program. The remaining XB-70 prototype would eventually be retired and it found its final home at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. There, 
It stands today, preserved for future generations to witness the incredible feat of design and technology that the Valkyrie represented. It's a lasting reminder of the intense dedication and passion that fueled the Cold War era arms race and the limits to which innovation was pushed, while its potential was never fully realized. The XB-70 continues to serve as a symbol of what could have been, a monument to human ambition and the complex nature of military innovation. Designing the Future Let's again take a closer look at the XB-70's design. This aircraft wasn't just about speed, it was a masterpiece of engineering. Its sleek delta wings, forward canards, and six-engine layout were all designed with one goal in mind, to dominate the skies. The Valkyrie's interior and systems were equally advanced. It featured cutting-edge avionics, including a modified version of the inertial guidance system used in the Navajo missile program. The cockpit was built to protect the crew from the extreme conditions of supersonic flight, including the heat generated at Mach 3. Even the Valkyrie's paint job served a purpose. Its white exterior wasn't just for aesthetics, it was designed to reflect heat, reducing the thermal stress on the airframe. Every detail of the XB-70 was carefully considered, making it a marvel of mid-20th century engineering. Why the XB-70 still matters? You might be wondering, why should I care about an aircraft that never made it past the prototype stage? Well, the XB-70 represents more than just a military project. It's a symbol of human ambition and the desire to push boundaries. The Valkyrie taught us invaluable lessons about supersonic flight, materials science, and aerodynamics. Its legacy lives on in modern aircraft and the technologies we now take for granted. From the sleek lines of commercial jets to the precision of today's military planes. The XB-70's influence is undeniable. The Valkyrie's place in history, the XB-70 Valkyrie's story is a blend of triumph and tragedy, innovation and obsolescence. It is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. It represents a vision of the future and a daring leap into the unknown, although it never became the backbone of America's strategic bomber fleet. Its impact on aviation is still felt today, highlighting the challenges faced by even the most ambitious projects. So, what do you think of the XB-70's story? Does it inspire you to dream big, to push boundaries, and to think beyond what seems possible? Because if there's one lesson the Valkyrie teaches us, it's this. Sometimes, even when a dream doesn't fully take flight, the journey itself can change the world. And hey, don't forget to like, share this with your fellow aviation fans, and hit subscribe so you don't miss more incredible stories like this one.